Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Backbone JS tutorial from scratch for beginners. And this is our part 20th of this video session series. So guys, if you are a beginner from this video session, then I strongly recommend you to go to YouTube, type online web tutor, where you can find the playlist of Backbone JS tutorial in which we had discussed so many things about Backbone JS from scratch. In this video sessions, we are going to see something called underscore JS methods, in which we will see about underscore each, underscore where, find where, find, filter, and plug. These all methods are provided by underscore JS. And uh, as we have seen in the documentation section of Backbone JS, that it is hardly dependency on underscore JS. So we will see some methods of underscore JS. So before starting this video session, just go to its official website as you can see underscore js.org where you could see many methods actually it has given like under the collections menu, under arrays menus, under functions and object. There are several methods actually underscore js provides and all of the functions guys actually backbone js uses okay so in this video sessions we actually see some of methods of underscore js like underscore each underscore where find where and many more in our previous video sessions actually we had discussed about underscore template and underscore each these two methods we had seen in our previous video sessions okay so in this video sessions we will cover underscore each again and these all methods are okay so let's get started about these methods in deep so this is our code editor here as you can see video 20.html where we have written some sort of HTML contents where we have linked three library files for backbone applications and here is v20.js file which actually contains the backbone JS code okay now what we did so far for this file we have created a simple model as you can see f model is the object we have created a collection as you can see f collection where it actually stores the value of model of f model okay and we have also created three different objects of our f model as you can see player one player two and player three where we have taken the three different players informations of key name like name team and the number name team and the number these three players actually we have defined as an object of f model and after creating those objects we actually set those objects into our collection as you can see we have passed these collection objects i mean sorry model objects into our collection okay and also we have made a view where we have passed f collection as you can see as a collection and now here is the render method okay so just save this file go to browser and refresh your page as you can see running okay successfully we have run this app now just check out collection data this dot collection dot to json it contains three different model objects just click on that as you can see Ricky Ponting, Sachin and the Chris Gale these are the three informations we have passed to our collection okay guys and these are the model objects where we have passed three different key values like name team and the number so let's get started with underscore each method just cut this code we're going to see underscore each method underscore each method guys basically it iterates over our collection array in which it iterates over each model of this collection array okay and it actually takes the value of its name and the team 
So just save this file and refresh your page. Once you refresh, you could see Ricky Ponting, it is from Australia, Sachin Tandulkar, it is from India, and it's Chris Gale, it is from West Indies. So these are the three informations, player informations that we have accessed by iterating over this correction array by using underscore each method. Underscore each method basically look it iterates over this collection on iterating it takes individual model and from this individual model it actually takes the value of its name and the team. So this is dollar underscore each method. Now we are going to say something called where. So basically guys where method of underscore actually takes the value from our array which indicates the value of this specific key. We have passed number equal to 1. It means that it could take all the values from this collection array where it finds number equal to 1. As you can see that we have created three different model objects where as you could see number equal to 1, number equal to 1 and number equal to 9 ok so we have passed two players with a number equal to 1 so when we run this program then you could see two informations actually stored in this player data variable ok so just console this console.log player data so just come in this section control s to save and refresh the page once you refresh, you could see that two different model objects actually it encountered. Just click on that. You can see Ricky Ponting has the number one and the Sachin has number one. Okay, so these are the two players that we actually found from this collection array with number equal to one. Okay, so when we use something called find where method, and it is something called find where method so just copy this method and paste it here player data 1 and player data 1 ok so just save this file and refresh your page once again as you could see this is the output actually it has taken from the player data information which is from where condition but this is the second statement as you can see in the console tab it is the output which is actually outputted by the player data one one of the most important thing guys you have to keep in your mind that while using the where method it actually fetch all the data which fulfills the conditions okay as you could see that number equal to one means the two players have the same number means player one and the player two it has the same number of number one and the number one okay but in case if you have implemented find where method then it actually takes the first value of the collection array with number equal to one as you could see Ricky Ponting has number equal to one it means that while finding while finding two different players while iterating over these model objects it could take the first value which actually fulfills the condition find the method guys it actually takes those values first which fulfills the condition but where condition actually fetch all the objects which actually fulfills that condition okay so in short you can say that where actually up array but find where actually contains the value for that okay so just go to documentation click on where if you could see that looks through each value in the list returning an array of all the values that contain all the key value pairs listed in properties means bypassing these conditions it looks over the list of plays okay after finding all the values from this list of plays it actually prints into the output but in case of find where it compares this value to this array 
and it encounters the first value it actually finds within this okay so this actually takes the first value and it takes the whole array okay so this is the very basic difference between where and find where so let's get started with another methods like find okay so just comment this line and comment this line so just copy this code So what we did so far, we have used find method of underscore where we have passed first parameter is the collection array in JSON format where it is the anonymous function in which we have iterated over each model and we have compared that if the model has the property of number and when it greater than 1 then return the model.name value. Okay, so thus just save your file, go to browser and refresh your page. Once you refresh, you could see information of Chris Gale means it has the number obviously number one greater than one because it has number nine. Okay, so just if suppose I change value something like this, like it's number four. Okay, so we got two different players which have number greater than one. So just refresh this page, we get the same value from the list of two players actually we got the first result as you could see player 2 we got as the output which has the number greater than 1 but as we know that we have two different players which actually has number greater than 1 uh, but as you can see find method returns the first value it actually finds from the list of collection arrays okay so as I treat over these models, it actually returns the first model offset which actually finds that number is greater than 4. Okay, so it returns only the first element from the collection array. So let you may say like filter method. Okay, so while using filter method, guys, it returns the array of whole players which actually have the number greater than 1. So just save this file, refresh your page. Once you refresh, you could see two player information actually stored in this array. First, the chain and the Chris scale, which has the number greater than one. So basically, you can see or you can see that the find method actually returns the first element it actually encounters from the collection array, which fulfills these conditions. But the find method actually returns the first element and the filter method actually turns the whole list of arrays actually it forms into the collection array okay so this is called filter so very basic difference between find and filter find returns the first element it actually encounters from that collection array but filter conditions actually returns all the array all the model objects which actually fulfills this condition so this is the very basic difference between find and the filter okay so just if you copy this code and paste it here let's make player data one and player data one as you could see this is the information which actually given by the find method it returns the first object okay which actually means passes the value number greater than one but while running by filter condition it actually turns the two different values of the player information as you can see so this is a very basic difference between find and filter and one of the most important in case of where find where also okay so let's get the documentation of find method just find method you could see looks through each value in the list return the first one that passes the truth test okay it returns the first value which actually passes the 
conditions but in case of filters it looks each of the list returning an array of the values it actually returns the array values okay so this is the very basic difference between find and the filter so let's see the remaining methods like clock so just make a comment of that just make a comment and here is the comment just make a copy of that underscore plug Luck method basically guys it returns the values of name means it iterates over each player okay and by iterating over each model object it actually takes the name of each model object and returns into this player data variable okay so just save this file and refresh this page once you refresh you could see that three different players actually we have stored in our collection in which the name attributes should be Ricky Ponting, Sachin and the Chris scale these three names actually it has fetched from this these three models okay means the plug method actually iterates over each model and takes whatever we actually pass that value we have passed for now the name key value so it takes the name value from each model object it suppose if we pass team value then it we should pick the values like australia india and the west indies so just if we go to plug method and just if we, if we pass the team value then it should pick the team values means the country name as you can see so plug method basically actually fetch the key value from this collection array okay so just go to documentation click on the plug method as you can see just find plug as you could see a convenient version of what is perhaps the most common use case for map extracting a list of property values extracting list of property values okay it actually takes the values of from the list by the help of this property name means by getting this property name it actually takes the value from the list okay so these are the basic methods guys that we have seen in this video sessions okay so template method method we had seen in our previous video sessions if you if you're wondering about this method then please watch our previous video sessions and in this video sessions we had discussed about each where find where filter find filter and the plug so let's recap all these methods once again before closing this video so basically underscore each method is used to iterate over each model object and basically fetch all information one by one from model object okay underscore where condition actually takes all the values from this collection array of the past conditions so here as you can see we have pass number equal to one so it returns all the values all the model objects which actually number equal to one means it returns the arrays it returns the arrays okay but in case of find where it actually returns the first value it should pick by comparing this condition means it returns the single object value and it returns the array of model objects find method find method basically returns the first model object which actually from this collection array which passes this result means here is the conditions that we have applied on iterating over each model whatever will be the first model object passes this condition it returns into this variable okay so by using find method we, we actually get the first result from our collection but or while using filter method we get the list of array of model objects which actually fulfills this condition and finally we have seen the plug method plug method basically fetch all the information from this collection array by the help of this property name means whatever with the property name by comparing this property name it should fetch all the values of that property from this collection array and store into this variable okay so step by step guys we have seen 
all these methods of underscore j's okay and here is you could find a uh, good documentation of underscore j's events as you can see we have actually studied some of collections events from this list so if you're interested to learn underscore j's then you can find the good documentation here and you can study the underscore j's from this website and as you we had seen that backbone js has hardly dependency on underscore js so many more events actually under backbone js uses okay so we have seen some of the common methods of underscore js so in, in our next video sessions we will see about the routing in backbone js application so in this video session guys if you have any query about these methods in backbone js then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day